Hello all, welcome to Ferdinand Tutorials. I hope you're doing well. I'm Ugochuku Kingsley Nemeka, a 300 level student of biochemistry. Before now, I've been in charge of a pond and I'm still in charge of a pond uh, where I turned up to 300 to thousands of fishes, many thousands of fishes. Now, in my experience in training these fishes, some died, some were sick, some were alive. Some were sued and some were used for the purposes which they have been trained for. And all this taught me the experiences I'm going to share with you today. So stay glued to this channel, stay glued to this video, get your juice, get your drinks, come in your table and let's ride on. You know, managing a tropical fish tank is a lot of fun and very rewarding it can also be incredibly frustrating especially when your fish keep dying you understand now uh, 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 you find a tank you like you put all the fishes together get it running you know follow the advice especially given to you by the guy at the pest store you know it's a beautiful moment when you add your first fish and watch them pottering around in their new home it's not so great the next morning when you find your pretty new fish lifeless and stuck to the filter intake what happened that would be your question it is always heartbreaking when fish die especially when it seems they die for no reason you so badly want to do the things the right way and you don't understand what went wrong you know it is normal to feel discouraged because i once felt discouraged but remember that the most important thing is to learn something so that your future fish are better off I woke up one day around April 2021. I woke up one day, I fed my fishes and I went to lectures. I came back to feed them in the evening. I saw about 37 fishes dead. Are you getting it? Now that was aside. After that day, the next day, I record 20 fishes dead. So it's making close to 60 fishes that were dead just within a week. So I begin to wonder what really caused the death of these fish because I really fed them. I fed them well. I, I thought like I thought I did everything that was necessary. Man, I felt discouraged. I was like, why did I waste this kind of money? What is really happening? I know some of you that might be the condition you are feeling. You wake up a day, you see your fish dead, you know, you begin to see all these uh, uh, bitter stories around your pond. So, but today I'm bringing the solution and I'm telling you what is causing it. And I hope that you will change the way you do that after this video. There is usually a good explanation for the death of a fish, you know, though it may not seem like it. Whenever you lose a fish, it is an opportunity to revisit your tank management and care practices. And that's true whether you are a newbie or an experienced fish keeper. Now in this video, you will watch some of the common reasons your fish is die so soon. It is intended to help you diagnose and correct the problems that are leading to death of your fishes. Whether it is a new pond or an old one. We are going to correct it this night. We are going to correct it this morning. We are going to correct it this afternoon. No matter the time you are watching this video, we are correcting it immediately. Now, I'm going to give you 10 to 11 reasons why your fish die in a tank or pond. And giving you this reason, I hope you just work on it and provide solutions to it. Let's ride. Now, the number one is stress. You know, stress is the number one killer of aquaculture fishes, catfishes, stress. You go to your pond every day, you change the water, you allow the water to dry, you wait for 5 minutes, 10 minutes before you come again to check. Who does that? You need to treat your fish as a baby. No matter how old they are, you have to treat them. This is where your money is. This is your investment. You must take good care of it. So don't allow them to be stressed out. So the next one is lack of tank preparation. Failure to completely prepare your tank properly or your pond properly can lead to the death of a fish. You know, when you prepare a, a tank, when you get a tank running, especially at the first month, you know that they are very acidic. So you have to balance the pH. Are you getting it? Put various uh, uh, alkaline substances that can balance the pH of that pond. So when you don't prepare your tank properly, it can lead to the death of your fishes. The next one is inappropriate pond size. Some people choose a tank that is too small for a large number of fishes. Who told you that when you have a tank, a small size tank that you can rear up to 2,000 or 3,000 fishes to save the tank and save water. What are you saving? Your most priority is to save the life of your fish. So if you want to save the life, you must get an appropriate tank, get an appropriate pond to rear these fishes. So you don't jump pack them in just a few places. I hope you are getting what we are talking about. The next one there is incompatible tank mates. You know, just as human beings, we, we have people that we are not, uh, 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 we don't roll with. We have people we are not happy with. 
so are fishes are you getting it some fishes not, not all of them get along so are very very troublesome that they would like to fight others and especially when this one is bigger than the other you might end up killing the fish you understand so that is it the next one is poor water condition poor water condition this was the reason my fish died that day this was why i recorded the death that amount of death in my fishes because i changed that water two days before and i came that night are you getting it i came that night i look at the water water was dirty but i was like okay it's okay they can manage i came in the morning too i fed them i saw the dirty water i chose to continue to feed them i said okay when i came back when i come back in the evening i will change the water so procrastination lead to the death of that fishes i saw a dirty water instead of me to remove it so as a farmer my brother my sister learn not to procrastinate i hope you are getting what we are talking about this is your business i mean take it damn serious you must take it very serious so the next one there is overfeeding you know this one is easy to get wrong but so important to get right are you getting it you overfeed your fish you feed them till they do not eat again you feed them till they feed food the whole pond as in everywhere is floating with fish feet ah i mean you know they buy the fish is it that you don't buy the fish feeds or what why do you why do you overfeed your fishes just give them up to me. give them normal feed watch how they eat don't just go and carry one plate of feed and pour wow and leave it and go so that you want to meet up and do that no be patient be patient take give them feed one after the other easy easy you're getting slow and steady so that is it now the next one is burn tank management bad tank management you know sometimes you perform water changes you clean the uh, pond you know you manage again you know if you want your fishes to thrive you must do all this carefully you must do all of them carefully you don't just go there and do anyhow commands no you must do all of this carefully now the next one is disease you know fish get sometimes they uh, they get sick sometimes so but there are some things we can do to prevent them are you getting it so we begin to see some fishes that are sick are you getting it i think the one of the things you should do is to isolate them when you begin to see a fish that is sick isolate them to avoid cannibalism are you getting it because when the other species see that this one is weak they will just prey on it immediately so especially when the fish has a wound or something so bring it out from that pond put it in another, in another pond are you getting it until it heals then you can bring it back so disease kills your fish too so sometimes it's dumb moves you know sometimes you go and learn some things in the internet without trying it out are you getting it you begin to see that you can you can kill your fishes when you hear that this one is pouring red sound inside the pond you go and do when you hear this one is uh, uh, removing the water uh, uh, maybe once in a week you go and do you know you don't just do that first of all vet informations that you've heard are you getting it that's where we give you accurate here even after giving you we advise you to vet we know that what we give you is the best but i want you also to vet so that you don't go and experiment with your fishes so the next one there is issues beyond your control you know sometimes it, it, it is not your fault that your fish is died my only was my fault are you getting it but some of you sometimes your fish die but it's not your fault you might have changed the water you might have fed it accurately you might have uh, managed the tank, uh, tank properly or the pond properly you might have done everything that is necessary but the fish ends up dying you begin to be you begin to feel like okay is it that this is not for me am i wasting my time here no give it time the next one here is underfeeding i want to talk about underfeeding and starvation you know when fish are not being fed well are you getting it that, that's they are, they are being starved you begin to see that their cannibalistic nature tends to act be activated towards the feed on each other i get it so you must feed your fishes well not overfeeding you must feed them well you know this month we'll be organizing a training session uh federal tutorials will be organizing a training session a whatsapp closed class where i'll be teaching individuals how to go into fishery and aquaculture i'll also be thinking about poultry farming i get it, my experiences and i will share everything i have in that class so uh, just stay glued to this channel too we'll share the link here once in a while even after this video too we'll share a link here where you can join the class so the class is going to be holding this month so but if you if you like to join the class you can send a, a comment in the comment section say what you want say and we'll send the link where you can join the class so thank you all thank you for having me here thank you for sharing my experience we'll see you again next thursday have a nice day bye for now